got a really quick tip for you today, uh, something that might help you with uh, transcription and getting those transcriptions done a little more quickly. Uh, the thing that you'll probably have uh, realized about software, if you've been trying to use software or look for software, is that there's no magic transcriber out there. There's no kind of transcription software that you can just put a tape in and it'll automatically transcribe everything that's said in there. We're getting much better with voice recognition software, but we're just not at that place quite yet. But I have something that's pretty close. You can speed up your transcription by using some pretty common voice recognition software. Now, for those of you who are Windows users, you may know of the company Nuance that does Dragon Directly Speaking. Uh, and it's a setup where you just you have some uh, a big microphone that makes you look really cool uh, that you can just sort of speak into. It goes right into the computer and it tries to recognize your voice. Uh, one of the problems about using voice recognition software like that is there's uh, the need for training. And so oftentimes you'll have to train your own voice, but if you were going to try to do it with uh, other uh, interview participants, they'd have to train their voices into it too. So the easiest way to go about it is to do all of the speaking both for you and for the participant. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about how to talk out both parts and I'm going to give you a demonstration. Uh, the easy thing for uh, those of you who are using Macintoshes is that uh, there's a built-in dictation software on the Mac now. So all you have to do is actually just hit function twice uh, as long as you're set up in the uh, preferences uh, to use dictation. If you just hit function twice you can dictate into uh, the computer microphone and it will do the transcription for you. Now we can't completely eschew uh, the use of headphones because that's how we're going to hear what the people are saying uh, and I think it's best to use the headphones so that it doesn't uh, get in the way get in the way of uh, you being able to hear what's going on in your ears and then be able to talk and have that sort of crosstalk confusing you for, for what you're going to say. So I'll, I'll show you how to do this right now. Just, just the PCs, but uh, so useful, so useful. So you said that you like to cook. Uh, mm -hmm. So you said that you like to cook, period. Tell me a little bit about the, the kinds of food that you like to cook. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the kinds of things that you like to cook. Well, basically anything I can get my mouth on, I'll, I like to cook it. Well, basically anything I can get my mouth on, comma, I like to cook it, period. Um, I really like to cook. Um, I really like to cook. Uh, a wild, oh, wild game, I guess. Uh, wild game, I guess, period. Yes, fish, venison. Uh, fish, comma, venison, comma, uh. Um, grouse. Grouse is one of my favorite. Deuce. Grouse, period. Grouse is one of my favorites, period. Some grouse hunting with my buddies in the So you can see by using this particular process, and if you wanted to use a tape recorder uh, and you know have one ear with the tape recorder, it might actually work a little bit better than trying to do it through the computer because the computer is having to uh, compete for the sound. But you can kind of see as you go through that the uh, the accuracy of the voice recognition is actually pretty good. Now it's not perfect. Uh, so you have to make sure that you go back and read through the transcript very carefully uh, to make sure that everything is accurate and that uh, the voice recognition hasn't uh, heard something that you didn't say. But anyway, so that's a good quick tip for you and I hope you have a lot of success with uh, using this method of transcribing as one option to speed up uh, the process.